Hi, in this video I'm going to show you briefly how to change country on Netflix. Now, um, you're probably aware, if you've got a Netflix subscription, that um, it does change a lot depending on what country you're in. And that's basically because Netflix um, licenses different movies and different films and TV programs depending on your location. Now, how does it work out your location? Well, it does it simply by looking up your IP address. Now you can see where I am at the moment. Um, if I go to this website, it will show my location, which is in the UK. There we go. We can see I'm in the UK, and that means I will get the UK version of Netflix. And you can see that here if you scroll down. Um, the easiest way to spot is you'll have top 10 films in the UK today. If I scroll down further, you'll see there's top 10 TV programs in the UK today. <clears throat> and these um, these versions of Netflix change quite a lot. There's, uh, there's some um, versions of Netflix which hardly have any films and movies and stuff and seem to be way behind. Whereas there are others, like the US, that seem to have all the latest blockbusters and um, offer a lot more for your subscription money. Um, the account you don't actually subscribe to a specific version of Netflix. You just get a Netflix account, and then it changes with your location. So, is there anything we can do about this? Say I'm stuck on a smaller version of Netflix, uh, and I want to get more films for my money. Well, yes, you can. You can actually change your country on Netflix. Uh, Netflix don't like you doing this, but it works quite well. They used to um, clamp down on it quite uh a lot but um, they don't seem to bother as much now they're more um, focused on password sharing and people who share their accounts because after all if we're switching versions of Netflix we've still got a Netflix subscription so we're not doing anything wrong okay so let me show it so we're on UK version of Netflix how can you change your location now as I mentioned it's based on your IP address so any website, including Netflix, will look up your location from your IP address. Unfortunately, this is the unique network number you get when, you're a, when you connect to the internet. You can't actually control that. <clears throat> um, but you can hide it. You can hide it by using something called a VPN. And I'm going to show you how that works. Now, the VPN I use is called NordVPN. Um, I can heartily recommend it. It's um, one of the cheapest and it's one of the best. So, and it works in 2024 at least. It works great with Netflix. Um, okay, so here's the um, front end of it. Uh, you can install it on your phone or your tablet. Uh, there's different versions for Android, Apple, whatever. Uh, this is on a desktop here, so it's easiest to see. And you can see there's a big copy of the world a uh, picture of the world here and these are all the vpn servers now vpn stands for virtual private network and it's basically an encrypted tunnel between you and a vpn server now the beauty of this is a it protects all your data it encrypts it so if you're using dodgy internet connections <coughs> your usernames your passwords your emails and everything are completely secure but the other huge advantage is any website you visit will only see the IP address of your VPN server. So if I go and connect to a, a US a VPN server, for instance, any website I visit will think I'm in the US and not in the UK. OK, so I'm just connecting here and you can just see it's connected to United States. So I picked a, a VPN server in New York. And just so I can show you how to change country on um, Netflix. Let me just get this back up here. So you can see here I'm in Top Town Films in the UK and Godzilla seems to be Godzilla minus one seems to be the latest um, show. Uh, let me just see. We're now going to refresh this site. So I'll ask it to re-log into um, Netflix and you can see the, the sort of the custom, uh, the, the sort of front page has changed slightly. But let's move down. And you can see now we've got the top 10 films in the US today. Um, and we've got, if we move down, we've got top 10 um, TV programs in the US. 
and you can see it takes a lot more scrolling down in the USB version. There's just so much more stuff here. Uh, top 10 TV programs in the US today. You can see this Dancing for the Devil or whatever. And you'll find, or you'll certainly notice, there's lots more films and movies. But it might not all be about quality and quantity. Maybe you want something different. Perhaps you want the, I don't know, the Japanese version of uh, Netflix or the French version of Netflix. Again, they'll have lots of localised and custom thing. Uh, let me just show you this works. Smokey and the Bandit. Let me just see. So now all my um, traffic is being streamed through a UK, uh, a US VPN server. This is why Netflix is showing me this, the US catalog. And you can see here I'm just scrolling, uh, uh, streaming Smokey and the Bandit. Now I'm not sure if this is available on the UK one. I'm just picking to show that it's it streams okay um, through the VPN. Uh, and hopefully you can see it does. There's Smokey and the Bandit, a good film. I'll have to watch that again. I haven't seen that for donkey's years. Uh, and that's all there is to it. That's basically how to change country on Netflix. Um, basically, you can get a whole load more Netflix for your money with a simple VPN program. Okay, right. Um, that's it for now. I'll just finish there. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.